14 competitors from 10 countries qualified for the final of the pole vault in the first World Junior Championships in Athens. of the IAAF biomechanical research team set out to record and analyze the event. Four high-speed cameras operating at 100 frames per second were set up and synchronized to make possible three-dimensional analysis. Kieder of the German Democratic Republic reached a mean approach velocity of 8.8 meters per second with maximum takeoff velocities of 9.2, 9.4 and 9.4 meters per second for the last three strides respectively. With Delko Lesov of Bulgaria, mean approach velocity was as high as 9.1 meters per second. Peak values at takeoff in the last strides were 9.6, 9.8 and 9.9 .9 meters per second. Igor Potapovich of the USSR. Mean velocity 8.8 .8 meters per second. Peak velocity at takeoff in the last strides a consistent 9.3 meters per second. these values, one must consider the amount of energy stored in the pole at takeoff. Potapovich, and even more so Tida, had pre-bent the pole considerably at takeoff. The movement of the pole can be described by the variation in cord length and the angle of the pole to the horizontal.
was characterized by a high vertical takeoff velocity. The pole was completely unbent after 0.99 second, almost 15 milliseconds faster than with Potapovich and Tide. This graph shows the total kinetic and potential energy. The vertical lines indicate the time of maximum pole bend, pole release, and the time when the water's center of mass reaches its highest point. The vertical velocity of Potapovich's center of mass at takeoff was 2.3 meters per second. During the pole extension, he accelerated to 5 meters per second. At the same time, horizontal velocity decreased to 1.5 meters per second. The spectators of the first World Junior Championships witnessed excellent performances and also some disappointments. Grigory Yegorov showed great potential but finished only fifth with a vault of 5.2 meters.